Hi guys, today we're going to do a tutorial on the flame sensor. Now in order to make a flame sensor, we need three commands. First we need digital read um, to read the sensor, digital write to send a signal to the LED, and in order to connect the two, we'll need um, a connectivity command, which is, um, in this case, USB accessory. Now as of every case, we set up the pin, uh, and the pin for digital read here is A4 because our flame sensor is at A4. Now, for digital write, um, the pin will be A8, and then we'll set the USB accessory to USB 1. And we'll do the same for both of them. Um, then we're good to go for the commands. Now we go to the blocks, which is the programming part of it. First we will need to get the signal from digital read and when we get the signal from digital read we want to call digital write so we do like this we connect them together and after we get the signal we want to set the value of digital write um, in this case we'll just set to what we read and there you go um, we're good to go so now we're gonna build it the APK uh, now while it's uploading, I want to tell you something, which is our USB accessory. Our USB accessory is quite exceptional because um, the time it takes for th uh, the signal from the sensor to go to, from the sensor here, we'll go to the mobile phone here, and then we'll go back to the LED here. Um, all this time it only takes 0 0.5 to 3 milliseconds, which is supremely fast. So that's one benefit of using the USB instead of Bluetooth in case of Hippo ADK. Now, we're almost finished downloading, and then now we will install it to our phone. There you go. We'll be installing it. Right. Uh, now we've got it on our phone. What we're going to do is that we're going to reconnect the phone to our board like this and we're gonna load up the application once we've load up the application we're good to go so um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna light the, the fire the, um, the lighter here as you can see there's change in the LED I light it again Alright, I like it again and the LED will change like this, like this, like this. And here's guys the example of flame sensor using Hippo ADK and App Inventor. Oh and then one more thing. Um now we what we did from when we reading the signal, we only return it to digital right. But what you can do now is that Actually, there, there's so many things you can do with um, the App Inventor interface. You can say, for example, you can make it tweet by using the tweet command here. Uh, you can make a phone call. You can um, send an email like this when you go black, back to block. Say you can... Um, say, for example, if this... Uh, your own personal fire alarm and when it detects the fire you can tell it to make a phone call and you just plug it in here and there you go it will make a phone call when it detects fire so that's very cool application using um, combining the hardware and software part of Hippo ADK and App Inventor